Hi, this is Greg with G Technology, and I want to thank you for going and purchasing the GDoc EV with Thunderbolt, a part of the Evolution series. Today, I want to go ahead and show you what your out-of-box experience would be like and help you get set up as quickly as you can and get you focused on what you do best, which is to create that content. I also want to talk to you about some of the unique features and benefits that we've designed around this product, as well as how you can configure this device specifically for your needs. Included in your GDoc EV with Thunderbolt package, we've included the GDoc EV with Thunderbolt, two G Drive EV hard drive modules, a Thunderbolt cable, two USB 3.0 cables, a power supply, labels to put onto your drives, and the quick setup guide. One of the unique features of the Evolution series is the G Drive EV not only operates as a standalone drive, but also works inside our GDoc EV with Thunderbolt. Out in the field, this 7200 RPM ruggedized drive gives you all the performance and capacity that you need to be able to store your content. One of the benefits of Thunderbolt is that you can daisy chain up multiple devices, up to six devices, including displays. Your GDoc EV with Thunderbolt can be plugged directly into your host computer or plugged directly into a Thunderbolt enabled monitor. Before you insert the G Drive EV hard drive modules, I want to go ahead and remind you to remove your SATA port interface covers off the back. Once you've done that, you can plug them directly into your GDoc EV with Thunderbolt. You'll notice that on e each of the G Drive EV hard drive modules, that the activity LED light indicator will come on, indicating that there's power supplied. You'll also notice on the desktop that the G Drive EV hard drive modules will be mounted as available volumes. The G Technology Assistant is a great application that provides an awesome experience with your GDoc EV with Thunderbolt. Visit gtechnology.com forward slash support to make sure that you have the latest and greatest version of that application. One of the great things about the Evolution Series is we give you, the user, the flexibility to create the solution that you need for your application. Whether it's just JBOD, just a bunch of drives, and you want to be able to access each drive separately, or if you're looking for performance in a RAID 0 configuration, or you're looking for that data redundancy with mirrored configuration, or RAID 1 as we refer to it, we give you that flexibility. In order to configure the GDoc EV with Thunderbolt, you'll need to go ahead and open up the Apple Disk Utility. Once you've opened up the Apple Disk Utility, the two G Drive EV hard drive modules will be listed on the left. Once you've selected one of the G Drive EV hard drive modules, you'll be able to select RAID. You'll notice on the top you have your RAID set name. You'll notice the format, whether it's in a Mac OS journaled or the capability of doing it in a MS-DOS or FAT32 for Windows compatibility you can configure that format there. RAID type, this is where you'll select what type of RAID. Whether that will be a mirrored RAID set or that data protected RAID set, RAID 1, or a striped RAID set, which is all about performance. I'm gonna go ahead and create a striped RAID set. I've selected striped RAID set or performance RAID. I'll drag the G Drive EV hard drive modules over to this panel. Once complete, you'll notice that I have a two terabytes of total capacity. I'll go ahead and hit create, confirm that I'd like to create that RAID set, and the OS will take care of everything else for you. Once complete, notice that the RAID volume now will mount on the desktop. Visit our support site to download the latest versions of the GDoc EV icons and customize your desktop. Thank you for purchasing the GDoc EV with Thunderbolt. Now let's go make something together.